nonetheless. Very slow on the beginning here. Complexity with the T side. Nice find from Hades. That is a P250 raid boss taken out quite early with the aggression there. Really looking good then. In that sense, oh, Doto does the damage. Doesn't quite find the frags. It's Sphinx to help him out. So they do retain the man advantage, but it's a little panicked. The fade away. Absolutely beautiful from Sphinx. And now into the four versus two. Looks very, very difficult. They've got the rotations in. More than ready for this right now. However, called Zero Nest Tag. Oh, I'm going to frag a piece. They need more than that, of course. Your map control, one of the bomb sites, may be a little weaker. But like I say, in this case, there's less utility, so it feels somewhat nullified. Yeah, need really only HE remaining here, so barring any great entry frags, it's going to be tricky. But here they come in. Two one digs, JKS, and Blame F, one apiece. That's one way to open up a bomb site. Smokes isolating out these positions. At the moment, Blame F and JKS taken down. It's Blame F called Zero, though. Another one dig and leaving Deitcher alone, wondering where all his teammates have gone off to. Quer ganhar um dodge graça para se divertir no CSGO Fest? Então não perde seu tempo e entre agora mesmo no primeiro link da descrição. Faça seu login e aproveite o site todo com vários jogos diferenciados e clássicos. Essa oferta é para todos os inscritos do canal. Valeu! Well, we'll see. A hold here from Complexity on the default. You know, trying to prod their way back into the round by the looks of things. They know there's some presence in towards the bathrooms. There's actually presence oh, on either side. JKS has crept up. Hades has got a bit of an idea and will peek out the perfect time. Meanwhile, Sphinx finds his kill from long. Will get traded, but <laughs> surely got to be enough. The ragdoll of Essatag sent him to next week. Alu, the only one left against for great response here from Ents. Only a few seconds remaining, so uh, clearly Alu, who will be going for the safe. Gonna be important to make sure he doesn't die after the time. Here on short and Dotto again thinks about playing real close to this monster smoke. Snappy was flashed in for an information play. Dotto's taken down. Snappy is a little bit of a peak now. Snap a bomb bullet and he is down. Flashbang is nice but Cold Zero finds the frag. Only Hades on the bomb so he gets the first. Dancing around behind default. And jumping up Cold Zero is going to take down the author in Hades. Sphinx. One reply to kick off with. Playing from heaven. Checking the left side. And there we can come through the smoke. Cold Zero oh. can't capitalize. Only Alu now. Jumping up above it. And Sphinx finds a nice one way. That Four on five then for Ents. Still playing very passive here on the bomb sites. They're not thinking about making any extreme information play. As the exec starts to come in. Dotto under a little bit of pressure. Nades raining in the hate. So much damage actually in s -Tag. Sweeping around the bomb site. Deitcher falls leaving just Dotto. Hades can rotate in. There is no heaven smoke for the moment. So he's allowed to take jewels. Actually, the T-Size getting really stalled out here. Snap as well finds another. Dotto, how on earth has he found a frag from this barrel's position? Only now has he been cleared. And that lack of a heaven smoke. And there you go. Thank you very much, Sphinx. All right, on cue. Another annals in the tail of the script matchmaking experience. <laughs> you know, popping up the monster, Deitcher, full white, and Deitcher had a really tough map. That one's not going to help. Aggressively out of short with that attack. He catches Dotto. And just like that, from a man advantage and lots of map control, they find themselves a man down. Man on the right hand side here. An S attack. Hades trying to work his way in, but his teammates falling. Sphinx might have the trade, but such good positioning on these complexity players. Surely this time they can get it over the line. It looks like Hades. He's not really thinking about it. Sticking around for some exit frags, but. Nobody facing Sphinx doing the same. So there is good money in the bank here for Ents. They will be buying just fine in the next. If Sphinx can take away another gun, that would be just perfect. But it looks like they'll be exiting in the other direction. So maybe Hades can find one or two. So that's going to be around for complexity. A much needed round. And a little bit perplexing because Ents had. So we'll see how that goes. To be honest with you, bit weird, of course, but another bit weird hit coming in towards this B bomb site. They have not checked out that monster area. Here comes the sideswipe, though. 
finally late into the round somehow able to pull it back to a two versus two i thought it was going to be a disastrous round from complexity to be honest orp shot hits arlu gonna get caught here planting Almost at the perfect time to react off of that rotations yes are coming in but they're a little slow they're a little caught in places you know snappy on high not really able to keep them at bay it's sphinx that finds the first the orp is now here oh and this looks scary doto with the off angle will be traded out but he's created enough space surely play yeah, map it seems like another b hit could be on the cards five players towards this side of the map for the complexity squad grouping up outside the monster the flashes are soon to be ready and dice has already found one though that's going to alleviate a lot of pressure from that short position dotto also chiming in and the b hits have had a reasonable amount of success in the last few rounds but this time no chance of catching dice or dotto off guard no flashes to force them back and they're all too happy to take the aim jewels on their terms. Flame F is the only player remaining. Even a frag here might be a result, but considering next round is last, maybe he'll look to try to A lot of the away. time, your better maps might have a lot of structure that you just don't have to implement with a stand in. So you end up defaulting to Mirage, Inferno, where you can do it more on the fly, perhaps. And maybe that's the complexity you were thinking of this one. Clearly, though, it hasn't worked out. Alu does not look comfortable on this T side. And they're paying the price for it right now as every round seems to go in the way of events. Not this one, though. It was a 4 and 4, but too fast for Ags. Four. Instead, they'll stand around and they will push in towards A. Still have the numbers advantage. Still very ready for it. And the broken spray down. There are eight sets for the T side on Deitcher and Dotto. Blame F. He's going to be uh, spotting a few of those players. Double long push, actually, from Complexity. So... Plenty of jewels happening in this particular area. Still player on the left-hand side in Cold Zero. Might not be clear. Jumping out, actually, though, is Sphinx. And still Cold Zero, despite the jumping player, being able to do a lot of damage. And obviously, plenty of information for his teammates. I'd like to see more of those complexity players moving over. It looks like S attack might be going for a little bit of an information play. But Blame F, bit of a menace in this round. He's still alive. Waiting for the bomb plant to come through. They're really not giving them anything at all. 15 seconds left, you know, and they're, they're going to try and go for the uh, ooh, plant in towards the backside of the site, but that backfires as Blame F pushes forwards, drops Deha. Hades yeah, the next was one. A, a pistol win, essentially. It's probably better than winning the pistol, actually. For those that don't know, it is definitely better, especially on T side, to win second round over pistol, which is the reset is so damaging. And uh, that's essentially led ends to a very tough start to their first half campaign. One frag for the moment. Hades has found a little bit of ground, but called zero. On the Famas has an easy time with that one. So uh, hopefully for complexity's sake, then keep these numbers alive. That would be nice from the economic perspective. Alu, again. I'm not going his way today, is it? The later man in, and of course it's created enough space on the A side of things anyway. They do have the player in the bathrooms. So they're somewhat aware of that. Blame Etho still able to creep in just before the smoke goes down. On plant going to come in. Or on two directly on the A bomb site. And then of course we have this lurking presence of Snappy. Which is just all Dihar and Hades are going to be waiting for. Smoke goes down. Awkward little fight called Zero to come out on top of it. Snappy has to go huge. Absolutely. Bit of info to work with. Alu, though, watching behind. He knows that something is up. Ready. Disastrous start in this round for the uh, end guys. Snappy will trade back JKS. Still a lot of bodies to deal with. Oh, Cold Zero trying to get the timing. Not going to work for him. S tags there for the trade, though. That drops the bomb and forces the hand somewhat of the end side of things. And of course, still got the man advantage. Hades is also on one HP. Blame F will take him down. A little bit of insult to injury with the AWP bullet. It's all going to be on to Snappy, though. Awkward smokes all over the shop. We'll get the flick bangers. Yeah, beautiful. And you know, you could both just keep spamming away. Not going to go for that option, though. The AWP's trying to break their way in. It's so awkward when you get into close proximity. Snappy with the flick. That's absolutely ridiculous. And if we can secure this, it would be insane. Three crit. Help. Of course, we know that the bomb is also towards long. Smoke starting to rain over. Molotov is well on towards Van. Now he's repositioned into a great spot. Playing around this jump up position. Finding a second. The flash is not pushing out the back too much. And blame F. 
One for one. That should be good enough here. Bomb is dropped on the front of the bomb site. Ten seconds remaining. I think Hades, it's time to get out of here and save this orb. There's complexity. Pick up. No, no other way to put it. A must win round and it was a good hold from them. Yeah, absolutely. A bit together. Really, really good stuff in that and sense. Now Blame F is just now starting to lean off. Close monster on these two. They're going to sit in the smoke and oh god, this could be a meat grinder from both perspectives. Both of those CTs going down. Cold Zero left alone. He gets the first. 8 HP to his name. He's trying to dance around the pillar. He does his best in that situation, but Daichi in the flames can still find the frags. Free for him and Alu. He's forced back by the nades. He's going to have to save his ends. Unless he finds this frag. And he doesn't. That's an untradeable 5 on 4 now, so... Not is it brilliant? <laughs> it should have been. <laughs> uh, the trade doesn't come in in the end. So four and four players grouping up outside of Monster now. Nate's coming out from JPS. That should delay. We're going to work around. They're going to come in front of the Molotov. Bows is mollied out. And s they oh, line up no. for him. Can he get the ace? Can he get the ace? That's the question now. He's after it. Looks like he will. And indeed, he does. Bomb still in T-spawn, so... Far from making it, it's been the first round for a while. They've uh, taken a lot of map control. Snappy may fall, but blame F, he's got another one. He's going to take down Deitcher. Frags yeah, on Bates. Hades managed to walk his way all the way up. He's going to catch blame F behind each other here. This is so awkward. It's Hades to find it, though. Could be the frag that really makes a difference in this game. Nice attack. Trying to creep in, hoping he wasn't going to be spotted, but it's not going to happen. Indeed. Uh, you may be glad to know that I'd finished my drink before I yeeted it halfway across my desk there. Uh, whoopsie daisy, as they say. So we're all good. However, push coming in. There's no time to waste, it looks like, Alan. Nice attack. We'll find the first and the second. AK retrieved here by JKS. Be taken down a little bit low. Cold Zero and Nessa Tag have both fallen, so it looked good for a second. We might have gotten a little bit overzealous. JKS somehow, 25 HP, able to spin around and keep them in. It will go down as Spink spots him on the edge of the smoke. Two versus two, though, looks better than you would have ever expected at the start of this round. And of course, the Famas has pushed in. Ali with a great angle here to cut them off. Slowly creeping their way in for the moment. It is a right IP for the T side here. And Alu, he can't connect. Huge frag from Deitcher. Blame F, he does recover an AK. But not falling. If they get the bomb site, there'll be so many to isolate out these positions. It's all a question of are they going to clear Blame F before tapping the bomb? And he picks a great timing to peek out initially. One on one now. So that's good nades as Sphinx. Blame F is going to reposition. Bomb is being planted. Blame F, he swings wide on the tap. Now they kill each other. Around the pillar. Sphinx peaks. Domes the opponent. Complexity lose. And well, indeed, we are live with map number two here on Mirage. Complexity, of course. Map pick of their opponents. They've chosen to start on the CT side. Top connector smoke coming down, looks like. They're going to push all the way in. Blame that playing around Ninja. He's going to find one, but quickly traded out. Still a player lurking in through underpass in Hades. So, half his bomb gets planted. That'd be a great plant for Hades. As long as these heat players play each other well, it's very tough to crack this cross fire nuts. Three players coming in from CT. JKS does find the first, but no body armor on Code Zero and Essatag. If they take any, any jewels here, it could be really problematic. Smoke on towards the bomb. Hits on Code Zero. He's on it right now. He's still sticking towards Tetris. And for the moment, Lexi, they're set up pretty well as long as this flank doesn't do a huge amount of damage. And indeed. It seems to be doing so. Snappy finds a frag. Dotto with another two. And the defense just falls apart. So rib. Uh, looking so good for complexity. But ends a little bit too strong. Yeah, there's, there's signs. Unfortunately, the overall... Looking way, way better from Ents in these early rounds. And uh, this is one of the things I think maybe less so than just two. But Mirage is a map that if you just cannot get your fingers in, you know, you can't get a grip anywhere. You're just going to go tumbling down the entire time, and it's very, very hard to recover back, especially when you're losing moments like this, that. Uh, halfway round here. Reasonably passive start at the uh, beginning for Ents. A few nades coming out. Some players around. 
teammates to bail a snappy out as well. Not looking too bad so far. Only two players remaining. All they need to do now is group up and uh, a nice clean execute onto bomb site. That's what we want to see. It is indeed, sir. Uh, looking pretty good here. To be honest with you, it is early days, but uh, and seem to be picking up where they left off. And they're on the T side. They got a lot of money going already. Oh, that's attack going to take a lot of damage. We'll actually get finished off. We've got Blame F here. Needed to find that kill. Cold Zero on the AWP in this position. We all know it. And it seems he's tapping in a little bit to that glorious moment all those years ago. That's still pretty nice. Not quite the same, is it? But a huge 3k coming in leaves it all in the hands of the Relaxed. Have a little bit of a check of all the angles. Try and catch someone. Or with the timing, with an aid in hand, but JKS. Yeah, they have managed to turn things around indeed. Awkward fight there for Blame F. He does a lot of damage. So you'd say that trade-off could be worth it. It does depend though. Snappy. Looking to take some advanced positions here. Uh, gonna lose his teammate in the form of AD. Spink's able to find one, but again, it's a lot of damage taken. JKS. Or oh, not gonna go down. And that's kind of a big one, to be honest with you. Spinks now, they know where he's at, and he's very trapped in. Yeah. Alu got his head pinned to the back. He's trying to take the fights rather than hide away punished for said fact first to go down in this round but with so much chaos created you know there is space indeed for a player like as a player like alu on the stairs to maybe get a catch but it's not quite presenting itself just yet tags here or there there you go alu gonna be the first to strike him for the ct side and all the smokes have gone down there's none left to replenish them another kill for alu diha gonna try and indeed calls the bluff Old comes in. He had a little bit of cover to work with, but even then it could have been a double peek, you know, into a two versus one, essentially, because the other player's planting the bomb. But the patience for complexity seems to be paying off. All on to Hades. Up against four. Misses the first shot and takes a tag for his trouble. Give the round away as complexity. They string three together. This is looking a lot better than it did uh, in the early rounds and also towards the tail end. Uh, they started, you know, some of the rounds on their CT side especially did have it. Just started to fall apart. This has got it in spades right now, and it really is paying off. Yes, Ents will break into the A-bomb site and get the bomb down, but it has cost them two players. They also have a lurking presence on the backside, I believe, from uh, Diha here. Somewhat being watched. So obviously timing going to be very, very important. Unfortunately, he doesn't get it. Blame F on the flank as well. Should secure the round. Not even going to be needed, though. Just there for good measure. Complexity. Another super clean not in place here for Ents. They're going to get the bomb down this time. It doesn't cost so many players. We'll see, though. Trying to find proactivity again. They are very happy on the cold side of things to just hold for the retake. And you can see why. Let the action come to us. Blame F with a double spray down. s tag to find one. DR and Snappy, the only ones left. It's Snappy who's gone for the wrap around here. So DR is left by himself to try and catch a couple players off. Nearly does so. Not quite able to get it done. Snappy with the broken spray down. And surely the hold will be enough here. In the smoke as well. They were all so kind of moving though. forwards. If this is going to be the life cycle of the team and where they're at. And indeed, maybe. <laughs> nice move from JKS. Unfortunately, the fire was already there. Blame F with a quick trade as well. Does indeed make it a bit more interesting. He's the only one at the moment, but he's still holding on. Left on half HP. Will be finished. Ah, and it's the kill that Hades finds onto Cold Zero that might just do it. Essa Tag, the only one left then. Another chaotic round that Ents have created, but it looks like they are indeed going to find success. Awkward, of course, but Hades was jungle, so more map control gain for complexity, but playing the off angle here on the Duelies. Of course, seen it so much more in recent weeks. And there's a player up close and headbutting. Snappy still finds the kill. Alu has managed to lurk his way out. Threw into towards CT spawn, but he soon dropped. Leaving this whole zero. Go the way of Deitcher. He's going to fall out. Not this give out his man advantage. Actually, JKS fully shifting out ramp. Two huge frags before finally being dropped by Sphinx. Over from Catwalk. Hades rotates in. Try and regain some control here towards A. As S tag also falls. So complexity, they were spread out, trying to play individually. JKS did find a few frags, but the round clearly at this point is not looking like it's going to be theirs. Just blame F remaining. 18 HP, Deagle in hand. 
Can't even pull off a shot. Hades fools him. And, Vantage uh, with they... 40 seconds left, I think, is exactly all what they were looking for. Toto, get your gun back out. He will spot him, and a wild Molotov goes flying in. The wild peak also successful, and now the burst in towards the B-bomb site. Going to begin from short. Sphinx holding for the first. Will no, not Ooh. get taken down. How? And he keeps on fragging. Unbelievable. I called it early because I thought surely he'd be dead to rights here. Great quick scope coming in from Alu. Fake plant oh, indeed. He goes down very, very quickly. Sphinx now isolated. He does find one. Hades chimes in with a second, and Sphinx is on an absolute tear. There is no stopping this man. Even the flanking player takes some damage. Bit of early damage onto Alu. That glass cannon orb that they've got out. Only the nine frags. Get it up to 11 or 12 in this round, and maybe we start cooking with gas. But at the moment, not looking too good. Rotation's coming in from his compatriot on the other side. The player that replaced him, and maybe you can see why. Not a direct replacement, to be fair, in terms of how it all went down. But for now, on the server, looking pretty damn hot. Clean headshot to open things up here for Ents. And that one-man advantage looks pretty chunky at this point with the low HP Orper on the opposite side. Cold Zero will take out Snappy. A lot more work to be done. All the nades expended, though, for complexity. They have to find the frags here and now, because if these smokes start to fade, the jewels will be less than ideal. Dotto's thinking about going for the knife kill. I think that paints the picture of how this series has gone after a few tense moments on the first map. So that's going to be the series.